Why does it seem like my students are not listening? My class was so quiet. They were not participative. What will I do? The class seemed boring a while back. How will I make the class lively? As teachers, it's a major task and a challenge to ensure that we'll get the attention of our students all throughout our discussion. Are you exhausted, frustrated, stressed out thinking of what will you do to make your classes enjoyable? Worry not because today we got you covered. All of us are not dead, but we're all on the same page. Welcome to Easy Talk, a Duke Creator's Talk, where you will learn easy to do instructional materials for your classes. Hi, I am Carl Zinronka from Don Honoria Ventura State University, Bacolor Campus, and I am more than willing to help you out. For today's session of unique, creative, and authentic ideas for technology-based instructional materials, we will have elements of literary text as our topic. This topic is from the fifth grade English subject, so allow me to welcome and introduce you to Papa Sabai, a combination of online shop and a pop-up storybook, redefining the use of PowerPoint presentation in education towards student interactivity. Since our instructional material is for 5th grader students, our group integrated a bit of a role play during the lesson, where teachers could act as if they will be buying a storybook in an online shop. But before pushing through the online shop, we designed a classroom setup where we can see the preliminaries of the lesson, which will also serve as the main menu that will tie everything up. Uh, all in all, we have the classroom, the online shop, and the pop-up story book. So our group decided to use an online shop themed PPT since we cannot deny the fact that regardless of age, people are well acquainted with online shops thanks to Sasha PPPPP and La Zada. Anyway, <laughs> since the topic is related to stories, we might as well connect it to an online store. So. We'll have the online bookstore as our theme, introducing the storybook. So the editing and layout process can be done through PowerPoint applications such as WPS PowerPoint, MS PowerPoint, Google Slides, and or Canva. There will be clickable icons or shapes that will be hyperlinked to designated slides. Moreover, uh, our group also maximized the use of animations and movements to add to our visual factor. There are a lot of animations you can choose from that suits your ideas. Now, the question is, how can a teacher utilize this instructional material as well as integrate the VART model? Let's dwell on discussing that. For this material, our visuals would be the clip parts, images, and of course, the pop-up storybook itself. For the auditory, we have inserted background music, sound effects, and optional voiceovers. Now, the reading and writing elements will be seen during the discussion and evaluation of the students. Lastly, for our kinesthetics, we have activities during the lecture that will initiate movement from students. With that, let's explore further our instructional material titled Papa Sabai, a combination of online shop and a pop-up storybook, redefining the use of PowerPoint presentation in education towards student interactivity. To start with, we can now see the first slide of our instructional material, the classroom with the board and the teacher's table. So, the postings beside the board are actually images with hyperlinks. So, we have one for the prayer. There you go. So, it is optional if you would want to play the recording of the prayer or you want to ask one from the students to lead the prayer. Next, we have postings also which have a hyperlink for the classroom netiquettes where you may reiterate some reminders for the students during your session. Then, we'll also have buttons for the attendance. Okay. There you go. 
and you may also add a lot okay you may also add more if you want like for your reminders for your objectives for the day okay then on the desk we would find the teacher's belongings a pen a paper and a phone your phone will be our main key for entering our online shop this part is where the role playing continues where you may ask your students who would like to shop online and help you buy a storybook for today's lesson in that way you can set the mood and the students may get excited about what you will buy and to continue you may then proceed with presenting the online shop where you will buy the book and be welcomed with a catchy background music such as this As you can see from the interface of the online shop, we'll have the product section, okay? You may include shelves as to where the books may be placed and you can include cover pages or images that could immediately get the attention of the students like uh, trending movies, cartoons, animated series, and stories that they have watched or read. You may place the cover pages in the product sections together with the main storybook that you will use for the current topic. And then after selecting the book, there you go, we'll proceed now to purchasing it. After that, we'll have the pop-up advertisement or ads for the energizer. You may act like telling the students, oh, there's an ad. Let's, let's try the game while waiting for the package to arrive. So. In the ad or the advertisement, you may include a game or an activity for your students. So for today, we'll have a game titled, Have You Seen This? Where students will view pictures of different movies or stories. And you will instruct them to do a heart-heart shape in front of the camera if they have seen the movie. And a cross symbol hand gesture if they haven't seen it like, Anyway. <laughs> Going back, that energizer would be falling um, under the kinesthetics factor of the VARC model. So, after a few movies, just like this. Okay, we have Cinderella. Okay, so and so on and uh, so forth. There will be a notification that you have completed the game. Okay, and then after that, you will, you will also receive a notification that the book or the order where the package has arrived. There you go. Later on, we will be discussing a few more features of the online store after we explore our main instruction and in discussing the storybook. So a few animations for the parcel, then you'll proceed to the discussion. Before you explore the story, you may already introduce the plot element and you can ask your students to take note of these in the story while, uh, while reading. After that, you may now proceed to the book. Okay. As for our instructional material, we actually used an original composition with original graphics from the members of our team. You may use other stories, of course, cited properly, or you may also write one uh, for your students. So, for the first part, the book is accompanied by a voiceover uh, from our team reading the first parts of the story to ensure that we also cater auditory learners. So let's hear a sample clip from the story. There was a house filled with paintings of the fascinating art of okay. nature. Okay, meanwhile, the these succeeding parts of the story do not have a voiceover. So you could let your students participate in the reading process. You can assign your students to read the lines, uh, the lines of the characters, and you can be the narrator or whatever idea you think that could make the reading fun and interactive, of course. Now, when there is a particular element encountered within the story, like for this one, the conflict of the story, there will be a hyperlinked button, okay? Which one clicked will have the slide for a voiceover definition. But we'll omit the voiceover definition or voice recording only for this presentation. And then we decided to distribute the elements of the story whenever the class encounters them while reading. So the positioning of these buttons may depend on your story. Okay? 
okay? So, moving on. Towards the climax, you may ask a close-ended question regarding what will happen to the character, to the main character. And the students will write their answer on a piece of paper and they may raise their answers in front of the camera. This is another activity that caters our VARC model. Now, towards the end of the story reading and discussion, we go back to the online shop where there will be a notification that the seller will be asking for feedback regarding the storybook that you bought. And with this, you will be asking the students to participate in emphasizing the elements found in the story, which we tasked them in the beginning. So this is another activity, a mask in our role playing to provide an opportunity for students to recite. Okay, so for the generalization of the discussion, you may have another product page where you will add images or symbols from the stories to be special products of the store. With this one, we have a photo album that will serve as our lesson review. Each element is also hyperlinked for further explanation. Okay. Now, to be able to check out these products, there are available vouchers that you can check. Okay. These vouchers will serve uh, as the evaluation of the students since there will be set of questions asked before redeeming the vouchers. As you can see, there are a bunch of questions. Now, before closing the online store, you may give the students an assignment. Okay. In this case, we, uh, the students will be creating a story that will not only test their knowledge, but also their creativity. And of course, do not forget to allocate a slide for your references. Okay, there you go. Now, if you have observed, we have integrated specific colors in our presentation because different colors have a relative effect on our mood. Like, for example, red can help students be more alert. The color orange encourages critical thinking. Yellow encourages creativity. Green can help students feel calmer. The color blue has a calming effect on the heart rate. And these colors are really important to initiate a better learning experience. With that, you may try this technology-based instructional material for your online class setup. Or if the situation permits, of course, you can also use it in a face-to-face -face class setup. Indeed, all of these features are of the for the benefit of the students. From the visuals, emotion, the content, up until its color. Now, maybe you're wondering how this instructional material benefits teachers or future educators. Our group would like to show a new perspective of the simple application PowerPoint presentation. Usually, we think of PowerPoint as the usual app for presenting. But through this, we try to redefine its purpose and teachers may explore more of its potential. Not only teachers, but also students could learn to create an effective presentation that has its own twist, own story, own design. Our instructional material may be in a simple application, but it's a designing tool that could revolutionize the way we teach. I hope that through this discussion, you will be energized to create instructional materials for your students. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Once again, I am Carl Jin Roncal, the presenter of Easy Talk, from Don Honorio Ventura State University Bacalor Campus, Group 2. This is the Regional Convention for Teacher Education's 2022. God bless us all. Meanwhile.